Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine because I know it's mostly you up in here, Booski. What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. So Divine Masculine, I'm here to do the what the fuck is up with you reading for the next seven days. I do cuss in my readings and give no fucks about it, so if you do, please get the fuck on. I do start all of my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I did pre-shuffle, but I did not lay any cards down just yet. We're going to do it together. Please keep in mind this may or may not resonate with every single divine masculine. Get no fit nugs. Info for private readings will be below the video. Please take the time to check out our community board. It's like the farmer's market for all the nuns and high priests where they have their businesses, purposes, gifts, etc., etc. posted. If you'd like to submit your business for the bulletin board, please check the info in the description box below the video, but it's still currently under construction. If you find that the convent is not for you, please look for the nearest exit mark. Get the fuck on. Watch your hand on the way out. Hit the alley. You'll be back in Thailand. Thank you to everyone for all the bookings, donations, likes, subscribes, comments, shares, purchases to my website, and pledges to my Patreon. I love you. Divine Masculine, when I was getting ready for your reading, I heard a throwback song, G. I heard that uh, Only You by Kwame and Shay. Only you can make me do the things I do, right? Y-O-U can make me bring the world to you. Yes, it's true. It's you and only you. I had to go uh, refresh my memory because that song is like, they, it's, they said it was from 1990. So some of y'all could have been born in 1990. Something could be significant about 1990. I don't know where the hell you were in 1990, okay? But uh, I do remember that song. I do remember the video. You could like to wear polka dots. You could have a blonde streak in your hair. Somebody could, or like, I don't know. You could have a flat top. I don't fucking know. Your name could be Kwame. I don't know, okay? But I had to read the lyrics, and I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to post it because, I, you know what I mean? I ain't about to go through the whole Kwame song. But but basically, he was talking about how uh, how he really liked this girl uh, and like uh, just like describing the type of person that she was and how he felt about her. But one line that stood up, he said, I'm your love slave, and you're my empress. Uh, I love you like my wife, my sister, and my daughter, or something. That's what I've been telling y'all. I was like, so you're going to have to love your person like your brother, sister, daughter, friend. Like, you know? So it's something about y'all understanding that shit. Because uh, that's what's in the Kwame song, Only You. Okay? I don't know. Uh, some of y'all know that song just because y'all were around during that time, like some of us. Others of y'all weren't even born. But, uh, yeah, throwback uh, hip-hop and shit. When hip-hop was clean and fun. Okay? <laughs> uh... Side note, Divine Mass, so I don't even know who that's about. I'm assuming a Divine Feminine, I'm assuming, or somebody feels this way about you, because that's the woman singing the part, so, but Kwame is rapping the part, so maybe two, you and someone else feel mutual, uh, feel the same way about each other mutually, or something like that, G, but there is someone in the background with a child, okay, that is upset at you ass, man, okay, there's a woman mad at you, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days, okay, I don't know if you have children with this woman. You could be this woman's child, meaning your mother. Or this could be some type of maternal figure. Uh, this could be just some woman that you uh, put on a pedestal or something like that. But somebody's definitely upset with you. Whoever this woman is, uh, you're going to see the bad side of this woman. Or you already have. I feel like some of you guys found out something about a woman. Or you will in the next seven days. So number one, that's going to piss her off that you found out something that doesn't make her look good in front of you or to you anymore. But number two, I feel like it's going to piss her off because you leave, Angie. I don't know. You could have children with this woman. It feels like, but didn't y'all have this shit? It feels like betrayal. So maybe the Kwame song, the only you song, right, could be this woman saying that. You know what I mean? Only you can make me do the things that I do. Like, I wouldn't be this crazy. I wouldn't be this stone if it wasn't for you. You know what I mean? I'll, I'll, this sounds like somebody that wants to keep you around, Divine Masculine, really, really bad in the next seven days, okay? If we're going to talk about the Only You slash Kwame song in that type of way, it sounds a little desperate. Yeah. This is somebody who can't move on, Okay. Uh, even if it was, you know, say you didn't find anything out about this person that was negative and you guys just grew apart. This person would still act this way, you know? Uh, somebody is a woman obsessed with you, Jay. Yes, it's true. It's you and only you. Yeah. I feel like somebody wants to blame you for their crazy behavior, okay, in the next seven days. 
Like, well, you know how I am when you get, you know, like this type of shit. Like, that's why I do these things. Like this type of shit, G. Okay? Good luck, Chuck. Okay? Ooh. That polka dot could be a black eye. I thought somebody just like polka dots, even though I ain't seen them really, nobody really rock them. You know what I mean? Except for Kwame. Like, that's a, you know, for those that know that shit. But maybe that polka dot is a black eye. Shit, I don't know. Okay? Ooh. Somebody dances out here. Someone's a dancer. Somebody could be Polish. Okay? Uh, divine Masculine. Some of you guys are moving uh, out of a mother's house or moving into a mother's house. I can't tell, especially if you're breaking up with some woman or, you know, leaving some type of uh, relationship. Some of y'all may have to move in with your mama G for a little while. I see you being upset about that too, okay? It's a lot of like, I don't want to say uh, anger because that's too vague really of a word to use for how you feel because frustrated would be too vague as well, but like mix them all together. Like, vague straight in this shit. <laughs> yeah. Or like, not vague straight in, but like, because I mixed the wrong word. But something like that. Like, it's, uh, well, okay. Y'all can say it like that. Yeah, they're saying it's it's too broad. You know what I mean? For the way you're feeling. It's mad, it's angry, it's frustration, it's everything. So you're vague straight in. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Every, just, uh, all the above straight in. Yeah, pretty much, G. Damn, Booski. Some of you guys could be celebrating someone's birthday in the next seven days. Is it still Scorpio gang? Yes, happy birthday, Scorpio gang. It's still you, okay? Um, yeah, but I feel like it's a, it could be a woman celebrating your birthday. You could be a Scorpio divine masculine, or you guys are celebrating, it could be an anniversary. It don't go well. Whatever this is, it turns into an argument. Okay, I feel like whoever this is, everything turns into an argument because it seems like a celebration for a child, a mother, uh, a sister, you or something like that. It kind of goes or, or you know what? If it doesn't go sour, somebody's just in a pissy ass mood. You know how like you got that one person with the attitude and shit while everybody's having a good time. And it's that one person that just, you know, just uh, negative Nancy and shit. Yeah. I see a negative Nancy around you, for sure, in the next seven days. Damn. Anybody who uh, owns a farm or works on a farm, I see you going to get some seed. I guess that's what they call it. Seed. You must have chickens or roosters or something. Or are they talking about chick? They must be talking about chicken heads, okay? I don't know. But I'm picking up on farmers, and I've been picking up on y'all a lot and cowboys, and you don't have to be lonely at FarmersOnly.com, allegedly, okay? I see y'all getting some seed for your, for your animals or something, or like hay for like goats and stuff like that. Divine Feminine, this could be you too. Um, some of y'all live off the land, I heard. Mm -hmm. Some of you guys are moving Divine Masculine, or someone's moving away from you, but... I mean, if it's your shit, somebody's leaving you. If it's not your shit and you're living with someone, you're leaving that person. Whoever is not, uh, whose name is not on some shit, that's the person that's leaving, G. Okay? I see you guys lifting weights. Divine Masculine in the next seven days. <clears throat> something about your muscles. Uh, they bulking up or something like that. That's what's up. Uh, I feel like you're getting ready, prepared for something as well. They could be bulking up from this move and holding up them by somebody moving, G. Maybe that's how your muscles get. I don't know how many times you done moved. It should be happening. I ain't even talking shit because you know how many times I done moved. But my muscles didn't get big, though. But this says, you know, something about heavy lifting or some shit like that. I don't know. Let me let me get started, Booski, so I don't uh, just sit here and waste your time. But yeah, something about, uh, someone's name could be Lee. Because the way he spells only is O-W-N-L-E-E. -E. So something about, you could be an a entrepreneur. There could be some businesses that you own. Your name could be Lee. And you could be a business owner. Some shit like that. I don't know. Let's get started. <clears throat> Give me some messages for Divine Masculine. How he'll be feeling about himself and the energy he's going to be in in the next seven. Y'all could be watching reality TV right now. I don't, you could be into reality TV. 
and you could be watching it, whatever kind. It don't have to be like basketball wise and all that shit. And I'm sure there's other reality. You know, they got Swamp Men and all that shit or whatever it's called. So it could be something like that. Anyway, give me some messages here for this man. What's going on with him in the next seven days? Damn, this was uh, at the top of the deck. I should have showed you before I started shuffling again. This was at the bottom of the deck when I was like, dang, she could have a baby. She could not, G. Somebody could be moving. Somebody could not. This is kind of like, uh, this is like, I don't want to call this my burden card, but this like the 10 of wands, but it's more so like, you know, being the burden, the burdens that come with being a parent. You know what I mean? Like got to do this like responsible, you know, like I can't leave my baby. I can't write this type of shit. Uh, but it is the 10 of wands. So a woman could be moving out with a baby <clears throat> or leaving with a baby. Yeah. I don't know. You're like, damn, she really just going to dip out, huh? Uh, it looked like you see, okay? Are you thinking she about to move? I feel like some of y'all feel like somebody's planning something. Like to leave or run. I heard to run, run rabbit. Yeah, to run. Uh, I don't know if he or she is on the run, running away from you, the police. They could be a track star, shit. I don't know, but I heard you're wondering if somebody's about to like leave or run. So shit, she does have on glasses. You know, she does look a little incognito over there. This look like somebody changing their identity or some shit like that. You may be finding out somebody's not who you thought they were, G. It's like, I thought your name was Tanya. Like, she got a whole motherfucking other name. All types of shit, okay? Ooh-wee. Yeah, you thinking of washing your hands of somebody who's messy as fuck, G. For real, for real. You may have got a reading on this person, or you could have heard a tarot reading, or some shit like that. Or you found something. Or someone tripped up and said something in like uh some or they will. Somebody's either gonna trip up and say something in like the heat of like some argument, or they're gonna just be real emotional and you gonna like pick up on some shit, or you just gonna be like, I'm tired of your messy ass G and I'm out. Okay? Male or female, they don't have to have your baby. That's the ten of wands. It can just be somebody that stress your ass D fuck out, G. You're realizing like bitch, it's you. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, wee, you damn show enlightened though. This is my enlightened man card. Okay, so this is would be like a divine mask and just a very well, he don't have to be divine, but he damn so smart. But with all this yellow is giving me like enlightened. Some of y'all just trying to figure out where you're going to live. I told you you may have to go back to your mama and all shit. I told, I told you, you're like, fuck, man. It's just temporary, I hope. Or some of y'all are leaving. I don't know. Some of you guys have children that are teething right now, Divine Masculine. So little little kids, these, these babies and shit, okay? ooh -wee. I told you about a polka dot, and I was like, I don't know, somebody that dotted somebody's eye. Look at her with glasses on. Somebody out here is in a, uh, ooh. Let me shut up, because I don't be in y'all celebrity business, but, well, I should kind of do, but it's because they be telling me things outside of the internet, but, <clears throat> I'll be down, y'all young man better uh stop putting your hands on these young ladies, okay? Shit gonna start happening to y'all on some real shit. Fuck, fuck what the police and all them motherfuckers doing, okay? Shit about to start happening to you motherfuckers. Y'all keep putting your hands on people and shit. Watch, G, okay? Anyway, let's move on. I'm picking up on domestic violence here, okay? Uh, is what this is. So somebody could be leaving a, a situation where they're being abused. Somebody could be covering up their eyes or they wear long sleeves and all this other shit. So they cover up bruises and all this shit, Divine Masculine. So if this is you doing this to somebody, get your ass up out of here because you ain't Divine Masculine, G. At least not right now, you're not, for sure. You know, I know everybody got a past and they did some fucked up shit. But this is in the next seven days. And this is currently happening. This came out vertical. So damn show you ain't, you, this, 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 you don't belong here. Okay, okay. Let's move on now, people. Oh, wait. Somebody's about to have a baby, uh, Divine Masculine. Someone's about to deliver a baby. Congratulations. This person, you guys could be having this baby at home. This could be a home birth. You guys could have a midwife or a doula there or something like that as well. Okay, so congratulations. It's been a lot of babies being born uh, lately, at least in the convent, you know? That's what's up, though. Give me, a, if it's the good way, you know? Give me another one for the man now. Dang. This is like uh, deep, heavy and deep, like emotion, sadness, depression. That's what this is, Divine Masculine. Fuck. 
It could be a baby just crying like constantly because it is on the baby's side. Maybe the mom has postpartum and the baby just crying just because that's what babies do. I don't like the blue though, unless it's a little boy. Some of you guys have a little boy or something. Maybe people, not to be rude, but this is people that like always say, oh, your daughter is so cute. And you like, it's a little boy and you shit. Or it's the other way around. Oh, your son is so cute. And you like, it's a little girl. Maybe they don't have hair yet. You know, like it's a baby, G. So I don't know. Your baby could be mistaken for a boy or a girl and it's not one or the other. It's either one or the other. I don't know. Something like that, okay? I don't know what that's about. Maybe y'all get upset about that shit, but it's happened. You know, to me, uh, before I've said that before, meaning, Okay. Uh, but I do see someone sad that they have to leave or move. I see someone out here like stressed out. That's what I was saying. Vague straight it. It's just too many, too many things. Like if I were to use one word, it's too vague to describe how you feel. But everything is like, uh, but it's got frustrated at the end of it. You know? Like with everything. So I don't know if this is you or someone else. Because uh, it's coming up with a lot of feminine energy. This feminine could be masculine. Like, you know what I mean? This could be a female with masculine energy. Excuse me with all this blue, but this is a woman. She does give me masculine energy in here. So there could be a, a, a female around you with, that carries masculine energy that's stressed out because she got to move or you move in or something changing, brother. Okay, in the next seven days. Yeah, maybe everybody see it, you know? Maybe somebody embarrassed and shit. It's like the whole world looking at some shit like, damn, just watching the motherfucker cry and move out. Like, damn, you know? Some shit like that. Or you stress somebody out. This could be somebody who doesn't want to leave you either divine masculine. Like, but we out of here. Like, you know, it's sad. It's like, I hate to go, you know, this type of shit. Like, it saddens me. I'm crying, but we out of here, G. So you or somebody else feels this way in the next seven days. Somebody could be painting a baby's nursery. Or just, you could be painting. You could be a painter. Somebody else could be a painter. I don't know. Uh, this could be a job, damn it. Okay. But I feel like something about a son. Or somebody has twins. Somebody could have had a girl and a boy. Like twins, you know? Glove. She got on a glove. I don't like it. It's giving me OJ energy for some reason. You see that glove on that? I feel like, I don't know if it don't fit or not. Because now we're talking about a baby here. So if the glove don't fit, you must have quit. So I don't know. Somebody swears they wore a condom. Someone's like, I don't know what the discrepancy is on how this baby got here. But that makes me feel like somebody in court, okay, about some child here in the next seven days where something don't fit. The DNA, the eye. I told you the tips of the baby's fingers and the ears. It's shit supposed to turn brown or stay creamy white depending on who you are, okay? But shit be changing, you know? Look at it turning darker. So maybe that's what happened. Maybe a baby start getting brown, okay? Or some type of color, okay? Or it didn't, okay? In the next seven days. Somebody questioning the paternity of a baby here, okay? Someone's name could be Johnny. Someone's last name could be Cochran just because they talking about the glove don't fit. So I know analogy, okay? Someone could be a lawyer out here or someone's getting a lawyer. Ooh-wee. This, uh... Damn, boy, you got a lot coming out right now. Smear, blood smears, I heard. Yeah, so I don't know what somebody into here either, okay? <clears throat> Somebody's covering something up. Side note, okay? Somebody's going, uh, Divine Masculine, be aware somebody's going, like, uh, number one, they ain't going to be able to look you in the eye in the next seven days. Or this is you. Whoever this is that, that did something to you, this person will not look you in the eye. They may have on sunglasses when you and this person talk. If I were you, I'd tell them to take the sunglasses off. Uh, whoever this is you end up talking to that's about to try to lie up in your motherfucking face. When you tell this person to take the sunglasses off or, or look at me, when you talk to me type shit, right? This person gonna start crying and getting all emotional to deflect from whatever it is they did to you. Gang, gang, I put that shit on everything, G, okay? Gang, you gonna, uh, if you uh, use the technique I just gave you, you gonna shut that motherfucker down. Like, damn, I can't wear my sunglasses or cry? Like, no. You know, or if you better cry and tell the truth, it's like, oh, well, you know how I get it. You know, it's like this type of shit where it's like, well, you know, I take medication and, you know, like this type of shit. And what that got to do with you stealing my money, Joe? <laughs> the fuck? Like your medication make you steal, bitch? Oh, okay. Uh, it's like this type of shit. Okay. I don't know. Divine Feminine was shutting some shit down too. 
And for some of uh, the divine feminines, they were actually like letting somebody know uh, what the fuck was up. But this was more so in a work situation where she was being disrespected. You seem like you being disrespected in your home or just in your face, brother. Okay. I don't feel like the uh, side note, this don't have nothing to do with the woman who's being physically abused. That shit is true. So if she crying and telling you like, what the fuck, why are you doing this shit? It's true. And I know why she got on sunglasses. This ain't for you. And I keep telling you, get the fuck up out of here, say, okay? Sir is already too much of a, a, a gracious title for you, okay? Because I would have popped your motherfucking ass. But anyway, uh, some of y'all need to get pistols, Divine Feminine, for real, okay? These motherfuckers nuts, G. Okay? Uh. Let me move on, because we in tarot land. None. I know. But you know when shit be hitting breaking news, my niggas. Yeah, I don't like seeing that shit. I don't like seeing men hitting on women. I mean, I'm sure nobody does. But, like, to see it, especially if you have been uh in, like, a uh, an abusive relationship, divine feminine or divine masculine, because it can happen both ways. It's just hard to watch, especially if you got out of a situation and you're watching other people go through it. It's really hard to watch, and you be wanting to pop a motherfucker for people sometimes. Okay? That man probably in danger. I ain't even, uh, I already said that, but that's on some spiritual shit. But I mean, out here on these streets though, you know, like that shit is viral. Okay. That's why I said, uh, without mentioning names and getting, you know what I mean? Cause shit, you know, girl, you can just chill. The world about to fuck him up. And so is your spiritual team on some real shit. But I feel you. Let's move on people. Divine masculine, divine feminine, please keep your hands off of people. If you are in a situation where people putting their hands on you, you deserve way better than that. And you damn sure don't deserve to be uh, hit on and abused physically, emotionally, mentally, financially, none of that shit, okay? So get out of that shit, okay? As soon as you pick up on the signs, though, don't wait, uh, okay? Ooh -wee. Let's move on now. That's been my PSA. Okay. Give me another one. I don't know. I ain't never got that card. This is giving me six of wands energy. Like success. Like, yeah. Superstar. Uh, yeah. Somebody got, uh, stinky armpits. Divine masculine. You with somebody else. Maybe because you're working out. Some of y'all gonna be sweating real hard in the next seven days. I feel like you're moving, though. So your pits could be funky, I guess, or you paint or whatever the fuck, right? But something about like pit stains are a must, right? But shit, I see you out here working. Six of Wands, whatever you do, you get it done and it looks very good. It's successful. So if you guys are working on a project, something at work, uh, building something, some of you guys work with your hands, okay, uh, is what this is. It Actually, I've been picking up on y'all being good fathers lately. So, you know what I mean? That's why I know that's not you hitting on uh, some woman and shit. Because, I mean, how the fuck can you be a good father and then hit on the mama and shit? You're a horrible fucking father. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're, you set a horrible fucking example and shit. So, nah. That's why I know that that, that, that ain't y'all doing that other shit. You know what I mean? This is really y'all here working hard and shit. Some of you guys can get emotional at work, but you get through it. Get emotional. You could be just emotional about... You could just be getting emotional, G. For whatever reason. It's just stress. It's like when you think about it, you may get emotional, G. I don't know what it is. It could be a multitude of things. I feel like it's a, a woman, okay? It could be two women. So this could be just a feminine woman who has feminine energy, and then this could be a feminine woman. I mean, excuse me, a female who has feminine energy, and then a female who has masculine energy. This could be, I don't know, maybe two people want your attention to divine masculine, okay? And you already, this could be you with somebody else. Oh, we divine feminine. Yeah, by the time you hear this, you will have heard Divine Feminine. Yes. You remember it was two women in uh, your reading, Divine Feminine? I'm like, maybe these are two different women that uh, this man connected to or some shit like that. You know what I mean? And he wanted you to fall in line or some shit. Here go two women again. But then this man has picked a woman here. This woman has picked some man. So it could be one woman that's sad, Divine Masculine, that you swing in with someone else. And it could be a woman that you have a child with that's all stressed out and whatever is going on. Uh, because you uh, found somebody that you have like a, a connection with. This feels like a divine feminine, divine masculine pair, even though it's still giving me a six of wands. So it makes me feel like you and someone could be successful in a relationship, okay? It doesn't feel like uh, whatever this is. Someone's last name is Park Parks or Parker, or the first name could be Parker. I see y'all cleaning up the park. 
I don't know. That's what's up, though. Shit, who gonna clean it up? I mean, I'm just saying if it's in your neighborhood and you see, oh, we having clean up park day, I see y'all signing up for that shit, or somebody is. This is like someone volunteering their time to, like, clean up the community, schools, parks, uh, all this shit right here, Divine Masculine, okay? And that's what's up if that's what you're involved in. I see you going very well. It's making a difference. Look at how happy them kids are swinging and it ain't 40 bottles and uh, Swisher Sweet uh, uh, insides and shit all at the park and shit just dumped out, you know? You know how we used to get down and they probably still do. Like, what the fuck? Like, they just... Dump the blunt shit out on the baby slide. Uh, yes, they did and shit. Yes, they did. That's where they was chilling. They just dumped all that shit out. This this type of shit. I see y'all cleaning up something, okay? Wow. Divine Masculine in the next seven days. There is someone that's going to want you to, like, see them sad so they can get some attention from you. You know, so remember how I was like, damn, you know how you see that person in the party, everybody having a good time, and it's that one person off to the side. They want people to be like, oh, what's wrong? Why are you sitting off to the side? Like to kind of throw a monkey wrench in some shit. Somebody's going to try to do that to you right in the middle of you doing something. Like they want you to stop what you're doing and, and pay attention to them. Don't you see? I'm crying. I'm sad. Like this is like somebody that's like... Yeah, you ever, uh, you remember those TV shows, like, when they would show, like, a, say a kid was on punishment, and the parent was like, now pick up all those clothes and put up the dishes, and they're like, <sighs> right, making out like it's just the heaviest thing, it's the worst thing, you know, and, like, dragging their feet, like, oh, like, dishes, laundry, you know, like, this type of shit, it's like that, G. So this is somebody like having a hard time packing up a box and shit. You know what I mean? But it's really not a hard time, but they want you to see them struggling with the box. So you help them pack it. And then you think about it like, wow, we're breaking up. Or this person's, it's like, it's like drama, G. Who is this? Susan Lucci? <laughs> this shit dramatic as fuck, G. Whoever this is. Maybe that's why I said you peep somebody's like ways, how they get down. Uh, like you see another side to this person. Like just how, uh far they're willing to go to get your attention or to get attention from others. I don't know what's wrong with this person, G. Okay? You could have broke up with this person. Uh, like I said, it moved on with someone else or just you've been successful ever since. This like team player energy. Uh, shit's going good. I'm networking, hanging out with friends, family, like shit good. Someone else does not feel that way, okay? Or you do not feel this way in the next seven. Somebody could have locks, uh, you, your kids, or this person. <clears throat> I feel like it's more so on your side. Well, I guess this your reading, so damn. Yeah, it could be anybody. Yeah, somebody wants you to be, uh, I don't know, because they say the old ball and chain. So some of y'all could have been married, and I'm not saying that like about your person, if you're happily married and all that, but it's the chain on the swings. So some of y'all could have been married or you will be successfully married. You will be, I mean, the old ball and chain. I don't know. <laughs> That's what they said. Some of y'all could have been married before is what this is. You could have had kids with one wife and, and divorced and then got with another one. And that one is just depressing or sad or whatever. And I, I don't know. Some of y'all working on marriage number three. Okay. Or some shit like that. Or somebody is out here. Okay. Somebody's definitely disappointed that you're getting, if you're a uh, well-known Divine masculine in an industry, uh, to the world, the, your city, whatever the hell it is, okay? Someone is, uh, gets emotional about that. It's like they get stressed out though. Not like good emotional, like, that's my baby. No, not like that, G. Like somebody gets like real, like stressed out, uh, watching you succeed at something or you do, but it really feels like a woman, G, okay? What the hell? So maybe this is when you see the side of this person that you weren't expecting to see. It makes me feel like you're about to get something. You're on your way to getting something or something's about to go really good for you at work, money, travel, relationships, something like that. A new home, something, G. Okay? And seeing you do this and get this is going to like make someone really, really emotional. But like, it's not like a... a like, they start breaking up your shit like King Kong or nothing. Nah. But it's like, they want you to feel bad for being successful. You know? It's like this. Yes. That's why I couldn't really put the... Because it's dumb. Shit. <laughs> why the fuck would you feel bad about that? 
But somebody does want you to feel that way. Now, this person could not be successful or as successful as you, or they could have lost something. Success could be, this could be a successful like relationship, G. Like you and your person are getting along. And let's say this person uh, and their person, they're, the person they're with, they're having issues and shit. It's like somebody that wants you to feel bad in your relationship because their relationship ain't going well, G. Like what the fuck that got to do with the price of tea in China? Like I don't, what? Yeah. Somebody really wants you to feel like burdened and pain, or you do, but I don't really feel like this is you, G. Somebody, it's a woman. It could be family members. It don't have to be like a a, a, a romantic thing. This definitely could be a mama, sister, aunt, a home girl, friend, I don't know, cousin in them. I don't know, okay? But somebody uh is disappointed every time they see you like reach some milestone, maybe because they're not included in it. You know, there may not be space for this person, meaning like they don't really contribute to this part of your life and shit. And it is becoming success. It is like skyrocketing you up to the top of something or somebody, okay? It's uh making people depressed, G. What? Oh, wow. It's mostly women, though. So you got women haters, Divine Masculine. You do. Uh, Is what this is. Yeah. Some of them are in your family, for sure. Okay? This is what's at the bottom of the deck here. Okay? I don't know how Thanksgiving gonna pop off, G. Okay? It may feel a little weird. Okay? Some of y'all gonna be like, I gotta work uh, on Thanksgiving. I don't know if it's true or not, but... Uh, you can work if you want to. It says six of wands. I, I feel like, I don't know, G. This is y'all like, no, I'm going to work that day. Okay, brother. Uh, put some on the ten of wands now, the stressed out lady with the baby. Uh, work occupation. It's like my three of pentacles card here. Yeah, somebody's trying to figure out where the fuck they going to live, G. Someone's also, some of you guys uh, could be moving locations as far as business is concerned. So your office could be moving, some job, some business that you own or where you work. It could be moving uh, to another location or some shit like that for some of y'all. And they're like getting that shit already. I feel like you like the new location. Or some of you guys are adding on. Because uh, this is also lumber. Ten of Wands is like lumber, brick, you know, cement and shit like that. So this could be construction work. Uh, you could be adding on to something. I feel like it looks good. Yeah. I see somebody, some of you guys have a flatbed truck or what it like a rock, oh like a rock, like a like a truck like that, right? And you got uh I see you carrying lumber. Okay, a lot of y'all are really good with your hands, Divine Masculine. Even if you're not building something right now, like literally, I feel like you could if you ever had to. So maybe y'all just survivalist and shit. Maybe that's the reality TV I was watching, like Doomsday and all. You know how you be watching that shit? Like, yeah, I think I could build a hut uh, if it ever came. You know, y'all make could be on that apocalyptic shit, uh, you know? Where it's like, you know, learn how to survive and shit and hunting and all that other shit. I got a homeboy like that. He like, I'm prepared for that shit. I'm like, okay. But he really is, though, uh, on some real shit. Like, I caught a rabbit and all this, like, oh, that's nice, right? Some of y'all could like to hunt and all that shit, Divine Masculine, okay? Uh, is what this is. Some of you guys are disappointed with, uh, number one, how something could be working out with someone okay, that you thought would be successful and may be successful with someone else. Some vision you had, Divine Masculine or Divine Feminine, right? Uh, and you envisioned someone with you in this vision. So it's like, uh, I see myself like, you know, married and all this, but I see myself married with this person. Some of y'all, you were right with the vision, wrong with the person. So yeah, you saw yourself married just not to this person. It's like you put that person's face there. I don't know. It's kind of what they're saying. But we all do stuff like that where you just know. It's like, I know it's them. And I feel like it's them. And it ain't they ass. You know? It's like this type of shit too. I see somebody being disappointed that something didn't work out. Uh, some of you guys have a job where you work with men. Just all men, divine masculine or divine feminine. It's a it's a male dominated industry. Some of you guys work for that. It could be having a, uh, it could have something to do with uh, automotive, the automotive industry. Some of you guys work for, or just a lot of you divine masculines are just career driven right now for sure. In the next seven days, it's a lot of shit you trying to get done, Booski, for sure. Some of y'all I see you getting emotional at work. 
It could be like I said, cause you just frustrated G and it's like, why can't shit get done? You know, like you one of them type of people, like calm down, bro. Right? That <laughs> way you need to calm the fuck down, right? Or this could be just shit you dealing with. You know, like you be dealing with shit and it's like I still gotta go to work and handle my shit, but you just had the moments where you gotta like either step outside, go to the bathroom for a second, you know what I mean? Wipe your eyes and, and come back in and you know what I mean? All right, team. You know, I see y'all needing to take a couple breathers, Divine Masculine, in the next seven days, okay? Somebody crying in a car here. I also see happy tears as well, Divine Masculine. Some of y'all, uh, you are gonna shed a tear when you get something, like you're, uh, but it's, a, it's something that's, uh, like you win something or you accomplish something. Yeah, some accomplishment is gonna make you emotional, G. You're not gonna let nobody see you, uh, you know what I mean? But I know you are. Some people could be congratulating you. This could be love that you feeling. Like a lot of people could be loving what you do and they like, yeah, like that shit was so whatever, Divine Masculine. You did a great job, you this, you that. It could make you emotional, G. It's rare that people tell us that they like what the fuck we, they love it that, to tell us what we not doing right. When they tell us what we are doing right or that you really great and you could tell us sincere and shit, it may make you feel a little gushy. That's what this says, but it's real good though. Uh, with that six of wands here, for sure. So I like it. Business looks good, Divine Masculine. As far as work and all that shit, it looks very good, okay? Shit's working the way that you uh, expect it to work. Uh, just not in the love department or the home department. It's not working, but you can't, you know, control people. Or people can't control you neither, you know? But people are not to be controlled. So I can see why work pentacles you know what i mean that's why they said man make the money money don't make the man that's why you can control work and make shit you know what i mean make that shit go the way you want it to you're an alchemist when it comes to money pentacles and all that shit not always but it looked like you getting better for at least in the next seven days but when it comes to people not so much i see you trying to work it out with like a baby's mother you and someone else or someone you have a child with this could be co-parenting some of you guys work with your baby's mother or work with some woman that stress you out Gee. And it's like, I'm trying to co-parent, work together, all this shit. Like, it's just, that could be what it is, G. Some of y'all are still uh having to work with somebody or live with someone or do something closely with someone that makes you, that grieves you, they said, that causes you grief. Yeah. Uh, your back could be hurting and all type of shit. Or somebody feels this way about you, like, ugh, like I gotta work with his ass. Or here he come to come get the baby, like, ugh. Somebody gets, like, uh, physically ill when someone comes around. Or somebody's getting physically ill now, Divine Masculine, when they fit, when they know that you figured out something about them. Somebody gonna be physically fucking sick, G, in the next seven days. They are. Or somebody just makes someone sick. They make their back hurt. Everything. Like, they just, somebody's eyes could get blurry. You know, they have eye issues around this person and shit. It's something like that that happens to someone when they come in contact with another person, okay? Damn. And they still keep going back to this person and not necessarily, like I said, romantic. This could be your job where it's like, shit, this where the fuck I work, none. You know what I mean? I don't know what you gonna do. I had to quit some shit that made me feel like that. Like, fuck it, okay? Fuck it. I know I'll figure something out. I'm a hustler, baby. I will figure this shit out, and I did Okay, you ain't about the uh, stress. How the fuck you trying to kill me at the hospital? That's where I have to start thinking like this is a place where people supposed to get healthy and they trying to kill the employees. Gee, no, that's how I started looking at shit. I'm fucking out of here. Okay, some of y'all may be looking at something like that or you need to divine masculine. It makes me feel like or divine feminine that you guys may be working with some energy and shit that's literally like taking you down. Gee, so it may be successful on the work front meaning you make money and shit good money together but it's killing your inside your spirit and everything g so how long are you gonna be able to make money when your body can't stand it or your mind and your emotions just become too overwhelmed or just tap the fuck out the money will tap the fuck out too your health is your wealth so whatever the situation is you've been involved in, right, that's attacking your health, eventually it will attack your wealth if it hasn't already. And I feel like everybody can attest to that shit, okay, in the next seven days. Because then your mind ain't in the game. It's like your tummy hurting all day at work and you trying to focus, G. It's damn near impossible, G. Or a migraine or some shit. You know what I mean? It's the same type of energy. And it's like just putting through, you know, I'm just, I'm just going to do it. Yeah, you could do it for a little while, but every motherfucking day, okay. I feel like this eventually would turn upside down. Six of Wands reverse. There's no fucking way. I mean, I feel like y'all got a high tolerance for pain and shit, but damn. You know? 
So someone may uh, realize that you figured out it's them. That's why I said some woman or someone's going to be upset with you. They're going to be upset with you because you're going to figure out that they are the source of your stress, illness, uh, depression, sadness, lack of money or whatever the fuck else. And you're going to separate yourself. Are you going to ask them to leave or you going to fire them? You know, if you own a business, you like you the one causing problems with my employees and shit. And that's why it could be something like that for real where you, you know, you always have that one motherfucker like, man, if they get rid of them, this job will be kind of cool. Yeah. Okay, that should be true. Okay, it could be something like that where you realize like it's then. You know what I mean? That's that's bringing this clown and shit all over everybody. When that shit, whatever this is you get rid of out of your life or your environment energy, look how the I can see clearly now. Look at that shit. Everybody happy and sunny and shit, okay? You or this just represents you. But you damn sure figuring out the source of your stress, G. For show you are. In the next seven. Put one on the sad and blue. I think I'm going to name that my young sad and blue card. Because we're through. Yeah. And no one's going to want you, boy. Yeah, somebody could be saying some cruel shit to you. Don't that miss the shit from Color Purple. Why you leaving? That's why you're black. That's why you're white. That's why you're Latino. You're Asian. You're ugly. You're broke. Right? All this other shit. Why you you like, I guess I'm, I'll be that then, bitch. <laughs> That's what this shit is. I guess I'll be that. Or somebody saying this shit to you. Okay? Uh, Divine Feminine could be saying that shit to you. Oh, well, motherfucker. I guess I'll be all that shit then. Okay? Uh, ooh But yeah, that's my young, sad, and blue card. Some of your children could be, uh, I don't want to say kids uh, are depressed, okay? But if that happens to be the case, I see them being resilient. You know what I mean? This kid's getting out of a depression, so it could be something where the kids are affected by this environment as well, and you wouldn't even know. So let's say your kid been getting C's and D's in school and shit, and you and and been co-parenting, or you say say you and the parent, a mom, a baby's mother and shit, or your ex-wife, a still wife, or whatever, y'all argue and shit, or whatever, or y'all don't argue, but the but the energy is like thick. You know how that tension is? Like they say, tension is so thick you could cut it with a knife. The kids feel this shit. So now the kids don't know how to express how they're feeling. So they go to school. They could punch on other kids, be bullies to other kids. Her fist all balled up and shit. Yeah. Someone's kid out here could be bullying other kids or not doing well at school or just not being able to, like, uh, interact with kids, like, you know, like they should. But it's because they're, they're holding in all this emotion about what's going on at home. Same way you feel. And I'm not saying that whoever the person is, it could be a baby's mother, family member. They may feel the same way. They could be getting sick, too. Everybody living in the sewer going to get sick, G. Period. So it don't matter who put who in the sewer. Everybody's living there. Everybody is sick. That's what this is. Yeah. Some about Ninja Turtles and shit. Mm -hmm. But just think of it in that way. So that would be how it's uh, expressed in your kid. Would be at school or possibly, like I said, not interacting with kids. Like, you know what I mean? Other kids would. You know, they don't want to go outside and play. They don't want to, you know, nothing. Or it's their bullies. They're picking on other kids. Especially if it's a little girl. Uh, she picking on little kids, okay? Or you have a little girl that's getting picked on by another little girl. It could be a little boy too, but I feel like he rise above it and her fist a little clen more clenched than the other one. Mm -hmm. Someone's kids are acting out here, okay? But I do see them, like I said, they are resilient. So whatever this is you remove yourself from or whatever is removed from you or some situation environment and there happens to be kids there, they actually thrive too when this happens, just so you know. And I think that's dope. Energy is so fucking real, G. Obviously. I like seeing them come out of this shit, you know, because it feel like this don't even concern them. This adult, like, they didn't ask to be here. This event, they didn't ask to be here. And it's like now they're going through all this sadness, depression and shit, but they come out really, really well. Okay, or this is just talking about you. This could be how you were born and shit. You know what I mean? Like, damn, I didn't ask to be here, went through all this shit, and look where you are now, my G. Okay, dope as fuck. Put something on the uh, lady now, young, sad, and blue. Hope in big water. That's the moon card. The hermit, too. 36 breaks down to the 934. You guys could be in your 30s. Somebody could be between 40, their 40s and 60s here as well, Divine Masculine. So like I said, this doesn't have to be a romantic situation. This could be a family member, a mother uh, that you feel this way about or whatever or that's causing, you know, it could be anybody, G, okay? Uh, the moon is the mother and shit, you know? This could be someone who had you, had a son, 
okay? So someone's mother could be going through depression or working through some type of sadness or something like that, or it's a baby's mother or just some woman. Some of y'all moving, uh, okay, Ooh, let's turn the page. They said, nah, nah, nah. You be telling his playbook. Okay, my bad. Mm. It works out, okay? That's all I have to say about wild. Something about teamwork, team player, team something. You could be uh, competing, like, uh, and not like competing, like, you know, but you could be in a competition and you're coming up with a team name. So we're team blue. That's team orange, team yellow. I don't know. This could be some type of seminar or some type of, I don't know what you doing, boy. You be in all types of shit. I have no clue. Okay. Be careful of getting scammed and shit. That's not like some bullshit. Okay. I'm going to keep it so real with you. Uh, like them, like them, you know, you can be successful. You know, I really don't feel like millionaires and billionaires really going to tell you how they became million. You can become a millionaire too. Why would I tell you that? <clears throat> Just because, I mean, and we're supposed to, I understand why, uh, people would be drawn to that. Cause it sounds good. And people, I mean, that's you, it would be really nice. Right? If people just put out seminars and classes and shit. But hell no, you taking out my baby's mouth. I mean, that's just how the world thinks, let's be honest. Nah, all that shit is scam, G. If somebody tells somebody how to be a millionaire, it's like some shit like this. Where y'all friends and shit, like, I'm going to tell you how I did this shit, right? It's how I did it, boo, 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 right? The person you tell ain't never going to want to tell nobody neither. Why the fuck would I do that? Some of y'all need to be aware of getting scammed in some class telling you going to be rich and shit. Or whether you could flip and do all that shit. No. If they really doing all that shit, they damn sure ain't gonna tell you, okay? For sure, okay? So, be, or this you involved in some scam shit, but not everybody stupid here. Well, it's a few of them here, but you know what I mean? Not not here at this school, okay? Only because people would, would put the, I guess divine masculine, you could be putting yourself in other people's shoes, and that's when shit don't make no sense, you know? Like, if I were a millionaire billionaire, number one, would I even have time to be teaching seminars and classes to teach motherfuckers to be millionaires and billionaires? <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially if it's if I didn't get become a millionaire billionaire teaching. Say I became a millionaire billionaire owning restaurants and shit. Now all of a sudden I got time to teach everybody how to become a millionaire billionaire? Uh, no. It seems like I go deeper in the culinary business and things like that to stay a millionaire billionaire. I ain't got time to teach motherfuckers shit, okay? For some of y'all who are not teaching, be aware it's like a scam or something. Like, but it's it's not even realistic, okay? And we see them all the time. Join this class. Get the package. Get the... I don't know if you're part of this shit, G. And if you are, I mean... Uh, you probably asking, like, when the success part come, G? The moon card is, like, like in the dark. Look at this. Like, when, when do I get to jump up and down like the people on the commercial? I don't know, man. They're going to be like, you got to subscribe to the moon package, my brother. Would you get the sun package? You're going to be like, yeah. They like, oh no, you need the sun and the moon package. That'll be another seven hundred and fifty dollars. Like, what the hell? Somebody out here getting scammed, G. Or be aware of this happening to you, or this happened to you. Maybe somebody scammed you, or I don't know. Okay, not the moon package. <laughs> oh shit! Some of you guys work the graveyard shift, or just work at night. You work better at night. Uh, some of you. Okay, I feel like it's because you don't have to be wherever it is you lay your head. You just, it's its better to work at night for you. Okay, or you guys are just night owls. I do see something about missing children out here too, Divine Masculine. A brother and a sister or just two missing kids. I don't know. Ooh, you saw that motherfucker had them body parts? I told y'all. I'm like, somebody out here chopping up bodies and shit. I thought he was like, nom 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 on them. And ain't no telling because they only found the torso. Okay, but I told y'all, man. Uh, you motherfucker, that's what I said. Okay? People gonna need, I mean, shit, it's you or me. Okay? It ain't gonna be me. Okay? What is going on with the world? Let's move on, people. Put some on the, uh... Six of Wands here. The Empress. Ooh, wee, buddy. Yeah. You damn sure end up being in a team with somebody here. For sure. It's a strong team, too. 
because uh, this is giving me Empress energy too, Divine Masculine. Some of y'all got uh, two women pregnant at the same time, or you have a young baby or some shit like that, and you could be going towards a Divine Feminine, and she end up pregnant too, or maybe she don't, but this is give, this is the Divine Feminine here. Some of y'all done figured out who your Divine Feminine is, and it stressed out another woman, and that's the one who wants you to notice, don't you see I'm sad? Don't you see I'm mad? Don't you see it's only you? Right? All this other shit. I don't know. Or this you doing this. Somebody is taking notice that you have taken notice to something. And that's why they're going to try to like do all this other shit. Okay? Somebody may deliberately get in a car accident. Somebody could deliberately hurt themselves, like fall. So like you have to stop what you're doing or you feel some type of emotion for them and all that shit. Somebody out here is kind of sick, G. Like mentally though, it's no, it's no, wait, let me see. No, it's, it's some sword energy out here. It's damn sure a lover, okay? It's uh, two sixes out here. One, you like to keep private and don't really like to let people know you deal with this person. The other person, you like, you would want to hold hands and go outside with this person. So somebody you trying to keep hidden in the background that you don't want a divine counterpart to know about either. Just so you know, she know. It's divine feminine. Divine feminine automatically is the high priestess as well. Even without that moon, uh, divine feminine is very intuitive. That's how she became the empress, G. So, I mean, that that don't, you know? So her intuition worked like a fine oil machine here, okay? So she already knows if you have somebody in the background and you're trying to come to her, she already knows that you're ashamed of this person, okay? You're stressed out with this person. You want to hide this person from her and the world, okay? That this person, all this shit, she know uh, divine masculine, just so you know. So maybe that's a load off your back. You like, thank God, none. Long as she know, but I still feel like you got to talk to her about it. You ain't about to use me to tell her no shit. No, you still have to say something, even though she does know. Because the moon is on her side and the empress is on yours. So you do want a divine feminine. She knows that you want her, but she also knows what's going on with you too in the background, G. That there's other women, Okay. You could have already been with this divine feminine. You want to reconcile with her ass. For a lot of you, this is a reconciliation that you want with the divine uh, feminine here, okay? Others of you, this is just a strong spiritual, like, uh, soulmate, like divine soulmate, and you would make a good team with this person, and you can just, you just, I don't know, connect it to this person or some shit or something. But even that person know that you got somebody, okay? Or other women or some shit like that. There's an older woman, uh, divine masculine here, that's crying, Okay. Uh, whoever this woman is that's crying wanted to control something. Like this person wants attention or something. Like when things are going good for them, I don't feel like they act like this. I feel like this person could be going through something and this is this is why. So it's your time to shine. This could be a, a male too, but if it's an older male or an older female, it's your time though. It's your time to enjoy life. You know what I mean? Travel with your kids or your, you know what I mean? Your wife, uh, your spouse, or build your business up. Get, you know, find love. Try, like everything. It's your time. This saddens someone. But this person is damn sure older than you. Or this saddens you and you're older than whoever this is that's experiencing this. So somebody could have children and shit. You know what I mean? Like in their 20s or 30s and they traveling and shit and the parents just feel all, I don't know. Okay. Or shit, there's somebody that feels this way about you or you feel this way. But it, it's a woman, G. It is. Somebody out here is uh, getting older, okay? Uh, and this it's making someone depressed or sad or some shit like that. And especially when you go out and do things, it makes them feel bad. So shit, is this you mama and you daddy? It sounds kind of weird because I'm seeing your kids out here like you want your kids. To, it's like, man, I want them. To, and maybe this, this, whoever this is felt this way about you when you were young. But as you get older and get ready to do your own thing and like become successful and move, you know, uh, it saddens this person. So let me see. Put one more down here while they sad before we go to Patreon. Put one on that moon. Why? Because I'm picking up on the tension uh, here. Marriage card. So shit, they feel like you you need to be committed to them first and foremost, if anything. <laughs> okay? So something takes you away from something. Someone. Okay? And that's really what it is. So somebody wants you to sit there with them. Like, oh, I didn't know you had a, a lover or a business. This is like this type of shit. 
You know, like this is like somebody never expecting you to have something and you're just going to be there with them and be miserable. So I don't know who this is. OK, but this is like uh, they never thought you'd meet someone, get married, uh, get a good job uh, is what this is. These are like contracts that, that must be had, you know, following your intuition. Like now nah, this feel like this is where I need to go. Some of y'all could could be moving out the state, city, something you're doing uh, that you're called to do that, you know. You know what I mean? You're you're ready to do this shit. Like, it's mine. It's I'm going to be successful at it. It's saddening someone. But I feel like because they thought they would, you would always be committed to them and not to this. Okay? Like, uh, somebody, I don't know. That's that's touchy to say that. But somebody uh, wants you to, I mean, shit, like, like they're your God or something. So basically, you're showing someone that they're not your God, G. You don't run this. You don't do that. I mean, you know, it could be a, a, a parent, G, or somebody that took care of you or somebody that, like, helped you out, hooked you up in a time of need or some shit like that. And somebody feels like you are obligated to them for the rest of your life, G. You know what I mean? Because of whatever it is that either they were obligated to do themselves, meaning a parent, meaning you were supposed to take care of me. You're my parent. <laughs> you know what I mean? How is that my fault, says you, if you have a parent that's, that's like this? How is that your fault? Like, you know what I mean? How am I obligated to you when you had me? You decided to lay down and have me, and now it's I'm supposed to just stay here and just be like, well, you know? It's like, well, then that's a waste of a life, ain't it? If you think about it, that's a waste of a life. If a parent ever told their child, well, I had you, so you should be, you should stay here with me. It's like, well, then you basically had sex and had me for no reason then because I'm going to be a fucking loser or nothing if I just sit here. So is that cool too? It's almost like this type of energy or something like that, you know? Or someone like, I took care of you when you didn't have anything. You could have been homeless, broke, or some shit like that, divine masculine. Had nowhere to live. Somebody took you in. You know what I mean? Helped you out. They could invest it. It's something like that where someone feels like you owe them your life now. You know what I mean? So you did something with something. You know what I mean? So if they did help you out with something, you did something with it or it was temporary. Like, good looking out. This is like you paying somebody back some money that you owe them. They're going to be upset that you uh, paid them back because shit, deal is done. This motherfucker gonna have an attitude that you paid them back. They never thought you'd get that money to pay them back. They thought you'd be connected forever. They'd always, this like this type of shit, G. Okay, somebody out here got a sick ass mind or they're very selfish as what this is or they think the whole world like kind of revolves around them and shit, but it feels like uh, they want credit for something that they did for you, but they don't even want you to manifest off of whatever it is. You know what I mean? They don't even want you to like uh, really benefit off of whatever it is that they helped you out with. They just want to say that they helped you. This is like somebody to give you just enough food to satisfy you, but you'll never get full here. You know what I mean? Somebody didn't expect you to go find some more food where it's like, no, I'm, I'm tired of going back and forth to the buffet. I want them to fill up my place so I can really sit down and enjoy the shit. And you found a place like that. Somebody is like upset. Okay. Ooh, we, we about to go to Patreon, G. If you'd like to follow us there, please click the link in the description box below this video here on YouTube to follow us on Patreon. If not Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, that's been your reading, G. Like I said, it may or may not have resonated with every single Divine Masculine. Still, thank you for visiting my channel. Am I tripping or not, Tarot? My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the Ghetto Nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. Again, info for private readings will be below the video. You can purchase your DU gear and your tune-in deck at thegettonun.com. And I'll talk to you later. Love you. Bye.